Hey, welcome in everyone. My name is Yumble. I'm a City Skylines player who also makes videos on YouTube, specializing in building road junctions and managing traffic. Today, I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to share how I use freeway interchanges to make functional and realistic traffic solutions in Cities Skylines 2. When starting a new map in Cities Skylines 2, you'll be presented with an open playable area connected to this set of roads via an interchange. An interchange is a grade-separated set of ramps and over- or underpasses that allow traffic to get from this motorway or freeway or highway into your city. As you expand your city, you may find that your starting interchange becomes a bit over-encumbered with traffic, which can cause freeway backups. It can also cause issues inside of your city at that initial junction. A good idea at that point might be to look down the freeway a bit and see if there's another spot where you can connect your city for highway traffic to enter and exit. I strongly recommend learning to create interchanges yourself, as I've found that's one of the most satisfying parts of the game and can add a lot of character to a given city. But for the uninitiated, it's a great idea to actually unlock the intersections from the progression panel. Then you will have this intersections menu, which has prefabricated interchanges for you to place in your city. Many of these can actually be dropped in directly without any modification to the road network, though some you will have to delete sections of freeway to install them. When selecting an interchange, keep in mind that some will work better in certain situations than others. The examples in front of us are all service interchanges, which are designed for getting cars on and off of the freeway and into your city. These include the partial cloverleaf, the dumbbell, and the single point interchange. There's another class of interchanges called system interchanges. These designs excel at extending your freeway network or connecting two freeways together. Some good system interchange examples include the trumpet, cloverleaf, and four level stack interchanges. Here is my list of all of the included interchanges in City Skylines 2, as well as what category I believe each falls into. Keep in mind that service interchanges are for getting cars on and off of the freeway, whereas system interchanges are for connecting the freeway to another freeway. If you're interested in making your own interchange, a great place to start is actually called the Diamond Interchange. I'm gonna make an overpass using this four lane road. Now I'll use one way highway to come off the ends of the overpass, perpendicular to the overpass, parallel to the highway, and going in the same direction. Now we can connect the ramps to the freeway using a merge lane. Expand your freeway by one lane outward. The complex curve tool is incredibly helpful with creating an S-bend. The extra pieces of road inside the interchange can now be reduced by one lane. Effectively, we've added a lane before the split and also added a lane when traffic has to merge. Some people call that lane math. Now the original overpass can be extended in both directions for connections to our city. And here we have our new diamond interchange in context with our original starting interchange, the trumpet. They will share the burden of traffic as the city grows, but keep in mind this really isn't a replacement for good transit. I recommend having a robust transit network as well as a robust road network to avoid traffic backup in your city. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we have a bunch of great creators in store. I've been Yumble, and I'll see you next time.